Good evening, y'all. This is Damon Chief Jones. Some of y'all know me as Brother Damon. I'm going to have to depart from my normal videos to do a special presentation. Let me see if this slide will help me out some. That may help me out a little bit. Um, sorry for having to put on my reading glasses, but this is an extremely important case to me. It touches my heart, and I'm personally going to act in this case. I need to uh, let y'all know uh, uh, that this is a very important story involving fraud, abuse, an FBI case, scamming monies, lies about Twitter, a boss telling his employee they would not pay them unless they got naked on Skype. Uh, they give them $100. Uh, uh, this person that's been threatened is a family member of an active duty service member in the United States Armed Services. Uh, uh, it, I just don't know. Uh, this is a story about a six-year-old boy also that tragically witnessed his father shoot himself a few years ago. And he's this child's being bullied at school about tape on his shoes, which I'll, I'll give you more information in a little bit. Let me just tell you why I have the credibility and the credentials to bring this story to you. I'm a twice retired chief of police. I'm a retired chief deputy constable. I'm a former Texas Ranger and former U.S. Marshal. I've served 39 and a half years as a peace officer and or a law enforcement officer. I've worked in every field of the criminal justice system, including in the court system at some point as bailiffs or other administrative assistant. My time matters. I understand the law, I understand the workings of the law. I, I teach constitutional law. I teach statutory law, administrative law. I try and right wrongs. That's why I got into this business. Okay, let me go on. I just, uh, I may be a little winded, a little tired. I just got back from the grocery store buying groceries for my uh, wife and son. I'm a family man. I'm a husband, a father. I'm a brother and I'm a son. And uh, this, excuse me, this story hits me pretty hard. Uh, things like going to the grocery store and being helpful to your wife should That'll keep her hanging around, I guarantee. Uh, maybe rub her feet. Okay, now, uh, let me get back to the uh, story. And I normally don't do notes because I, I don't edit my films and I don't do notes. But I have to because there's so much involved in this. Please hang with me. You'll be glad you did, I promise. Okay. John Henry Spill, S-P-I-E-L. He goes by the by the uh, alias John Masters. He does this on YouTube on Owned O W N E D. It used to be uh, Own the Cops, something like that. And I was associated with him through my ignorance for a short period of time. And he scammed me and gamed me. And if he can do that to a nearly forty-year cop. He's pretty dang good at scamming and frauding people, okay? Now, so far, counting me, I know six people he has seriously, seriously frauded or threatened them or their families. He's a nuisance to society. He's been a criminal in the criminal justice system for between 35 and 40 years. And he's about 58, 59 years old. So you do the math, okay? But he contacted this woman whose uh, online personality is Michelle, okay, or Michelle Davis. And this is how she worked for him as Michelle Davis. This is her online persona, okay, different than a criminal alias protection name, by the way. Now, uh, Michelle has given me absolute authority to report this story. And she has cooperated with my personal private investigation. 
as in a investigative reporter to look into the facts. Okay, so I didn't just grab this and run. I've been studying this out for the last 24 plus hours. And I did a three hour interview with her, uh, check fact and so forth. So this ain't just, uh, oh, I heard this on a YouTube or something and I'm reporting. No, this, this is real news. Okay. Uh, so uh, he promised to pay her for work on the website and doing a donation campaign and they made a lot of arrangements. Okay, that's that's not relevant here. What's relevant is that she worked for over a hundred hours during a two week period and one time due to his slave driving tactics, she worked 26 hours straight doing marketing campaigns. Okay, the campaign brought in over $2,000 in 14 days. Okay, that particular money was supposed to go solely to her, zero to him. That was the payment arrangement. Okay, now uh, other revenues and other streams of, of finance that he had coming in, he got to keep. This was a special thing for her, for her putting everything together. Okay. And in addition to that, he also agreed to pay her a weekly salary of $200. So he owed $400 on top of that. So she has $2,400 coming. He hasn't paid a penny. Okay. Some of the things that he did, I'm just hitting the highlights. Okay. Some of the things he did was he was constantly yelling at her, shut up, shut up, which I, I heard that a couple of times from myself. Of course, he was probably a heck of a lot more careful with me being a retired cop in nearly 40 years and the resources, my background. So he just, you know, if he's high on dope or drinking, in my opinion, and from his own testimony, he gets a little cocky sometimes. And I say, what'd you say? He said, I'm just saying I'm on overload. <laughs> no, he, uh, he's a control freak. Of course, the six people, the six major people, I got over 100 people emailed me about this character. Okay, uh, into the many hundred, one way or another, and it wasn't none of them favorable, okay? But anyway, uh, he was constantly yelling, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. And uh, she was trying to express ideas and making nasty remarks about women. So he's comment nasty about women, which he shouldn't do. And that really pisses me off. I'm a minister of the gospel, and I said it. And uh, God knows I'm very angry and I'm probably going to have to get on my knees and pray again tonight because uh, I've forgiven Jonathan Henry Spill several times. But every time I every time I forgive him, every time I forgive him, he turns around and puts the screw to somebody else. I mean, I, I don't know who employs this man, Satan. He's got a demon. I don't know. You know, it's just, it's just horrendous. Um, it was clear, absolutely clear, without any doubt that he did not hire her for marketing, design, and to be a SEO. He hired her to be a sex object on YouTube. I figured that out pretty quick. Okay. John Boy knew her only income was a social security death benefit from a tragic suicide of her husband three years ago, and John Boy was exploiting this and scamming her and committing fraud till about a week ago. She pleaded for money, stating uh, he could keep most of it. Even though it was rightly hers, she would relinquish most of it uh, for, for the sole purpose of telling her that she had a six-year-old son who had tape on his shoes because she financially could not afford any. Okay, so she was working to get the money to get him new shoes. And John just laughed and you know, that this is how John is. And she said, well, he's getting bullied at school. And John's like, well, I'll toughen him up. No, that's bullying. And John owed the money. If he'd paid it, she, the child would have new shoes. Okay. 
And uh, she also had another child that in two weeks is supposed to be going on a field trip and it costs seven dollars to go. So basically in a roundabout way, uh, a new pair of shoes, 20 to 30 bucks. I mean, she's going to go to Walmart or save a lot or wherever and just get some decent looking inexpensive shoes to get by for a few months so she can get a really good pair and seven dollars. And she was just about down to about willing to take that to do this. So then he reminds her, well, you know, if you want to get naked, naked on Skype where I can masturbate to you. OK, this is his his telling her this is him. This is Jonathan Henry Spill telling Michelle, Michelle Davis, her own sign persona, not her true God given name but not a criminal alias. If you'll get on Skype and get naked where I can masturbate to you, we'll do. Well, as sad as, sad as it was, her integrity and her dedication to her life, and she admits she's no angel, but her life was turned around many years ago, and unlike Jonathan Henry Spill, when she turned around, she turned around for good and right. Not like that dirt dog. Let me go back here again, okay? Uh... Jonathan Henry Spill went online, okay? He attempted to get people, he attempted to get her address and give her address to people, okay? And he encouraged, encouraged people to go and commit crimes against her, to rape her. Do you see a sexual connection? He wants her to get naked so he can masturbate to her. He wants her to do videos and low cut tops and try and show off her breast and stuff. Probably so he can masturbate to that too, but I don't know that part. Okay. And then he's telling people to go rape her. Do you see his sexual, sexual Lexus Nexus thing going on in his brain? I ain't a brain doctor, but something's going on there. There's a connection. Okay. Where there's smoke, there's fire. We learned that in police school. Okay, of course, everybody knows that. Uh, anyway, he wanted people to, to rape her. He went as far to tell people to kill her. Okay, uh, I think that's probably accessory to homicide or attempted accessory to homicide in the first degree. Premeditated murder. Okay, and telling people to go do it. And because people, some of them's delusional or they got problems in their mind and they and you're all they watch and you tell them to do this they may go do it to uh uh get your admiration okay so this is serious when you tell people on here and some people this is most of their life and that's their business but some people get hypnotized by this or get get uh conned into doing stuff okay and a lot of the same things he did to her he did to me, such as her video she had on there, she put copyright strikes against him. Some of the stuff he removed, some he didn't. Anyway, I know that there's at least one YouTube copyright strike against him now, and I think she's got the, the 39 strikes in on him that she's working on in process of. But I think he's trying to remove them faster than they do the copyright strike. Okay, trying to outrun it to keep his time because, you know, he's getting money money that she increased she increased his subs from like 30 to 300 and she increased uh revenues that he was getting in certain time slots from maybe 300 to 450 okay anyway don't give one penny to jonathan henry spill do not donate anything to him do not watch his channel. He's getting ad revenue off of it. And he's a doper by his own testimony. So he's taking your funds and doing dope with it. He has no original content. He's always stealing off other people. He's getting videos of other people and showing them and trying to do a little critique on it as a jailhouse lawyer. Okay. As a bum. Okay. Now, if you want to be a bum, that's cool. Just say I'm a bum. That's fine. I don't care. You know, uh, if you get food stamps like he does, just say you get food stamps. I mean, I'm going on his own testimony. 
Now, he could have lied to me about that, but he said he was in VA housing, okay, and doing dope in VA housing, okay? So, uh, dope in VA housing, he should be gone. He's not reporting his revenues, okay? This stuff adds up. It's deep, deep trouble for him. I don't know how he's going to explain $2,400 like that. Uh, of course, the way he explained it to me, and he tried to be real creative, like he's got more than one account, and those accounts may be in alternate names. Okay, that'd be banking fraud. And then he's got interstate fraud and in-state fraud. Scamming, it's just, it just no end. Okay, now, this woman's husband, ex-husband, should I say, there was the one that died, and the previous ex-husband, he understands. He understands her situation and her children. So he's taking her in. He's a good guy. U.S. military, active duty, 19 years. Served in six deployments in dangerous and war zone areas. Go you husband, ex-husband guy, for taking her and the children in. At not one cent. Nor did she have to do anything for that. We know that, you know, you, you moved on with your life, she's moved on with hers. She, he, you're just simply providing her with a, a bedroom to sleep and a place to uh, cook and take care of the children. God bless you, sir. God bless you, sir. Okay, the FBI and the military police have opened up investigations, and they're ongoing. Uh, and I can't comment on that. Okay. Uh, on these specific cases, I believe, I believe, these are in conjunction with the information I have provided to authorities, and that other people, such as a man I'm working with on state and federal cases, that Jonathan Henry Spill was giving him legal advice, not thoughts, actually advising him, telling him, you need to do this, you need to do that. That's advisory. And you're, and you're saying, well, I, I would do this. Well, you tell him what you would do or your thoughts on it aren't. But when you tell people specifically, one, two, three, you go to the sheriff and you do this. You go to the court and you write this exact paper. And then you do this and you do that and you do the other. It ain't a thought of what you would do or what you would think somebody should do. That's what a bar card judge or lawyer would tell somebody. Okay? You do ding, 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 and that's exactly what he's doing the guy. Okay? Probably got the guy almost thrown under the jail for life. Okay? Plus he's practicing license, uh, practicing law without a license in Oregon. The Bar Card Association ought to uh, look into that. That would be my opinion. He doesn't have any credibility and any credentials whatsoever to be speaking to the law too much. Okay? And that's an important thing to know. Uh, let me look here and I'll be closing pretty, pretty quick here. Today, this very day, her son still has tape on her shoes. I just talked to her. I don't know, maybe 45 minutes ago to see any status updates. Uh, today, her other son still don't have his $7 to go to the uh, the uh, field trip with his school. Uh, you know, Jonathan Henry Spill, criminal alias John Masters on YouTube, he has uh, spent his whole life in a jail or a prison. He's institutionalized. He don't know how to live on the outside. He don't know how to deal with good common people, good common folk like you and me. People that go to church, people that go to socials. Uh, he don't even get along with the what he calls the homeless people. Okay, When he wasn't in jail, he was homeless most of the time. His home was a jail or prison. And I expect he'll go be going back. Now, he himself admitted and did videos about he was homeless. But he was better than the homeless, even though he was homeless. He's a psychopath, in my lay opinion. And he's very narcissistic, in my opinion. He's greedy, and he's needy. 
he's got a lot of problems. Okay? So he puts off this false persona, and, and he does like the government does a lot of times. He says, look over here, while he's over here digging in your pocket or doing other nasty little things to you and your family. By the way, today is Michelle's birthday. Happy birthday, Michelle. God bless you, your children. God bless the man that has taken you in to help you and your children. I don't like to look in this camera because I can't see my video too good and know how everything's coming out. And it's in an awkward place for me. But I want to look in, the, in here and tell you thank you and God bless you for me and my family. I also want to let everybody know if you send any donation gift to my PayPal, Damon, D A Y M O N D 4040 at yahoo.com. Damon4040 at yahoo.com. Anything that in the description says for, you know, when you can write a little note on, on like uh, PayPal for for donating, if it says Michelle or Michelle's kids or for that needy family, 100%, 100%, I'm going down and get it shipped to her immediately as fast as the money comes in. I mean, uh, I, I, I'm donating myself. Me and my family were donating to her cause. I believe in it. Okay. Enough that I'll donate. If you got a dollar, a dollar, five dollars, twenty dollars, however much, and people say, "Well, if everybody gives, that might be five hundred or thousand dollars." I don't care if it's ten thousand; it doesn't matter. If it's a dollar, it's ten thousand dollars. What difference does it make? And it wouldn't matter. Uh, what? But you know, when you got somebody, of course, people on YouTube know who Bruce Clay is. And people that study under him, they know exactly what they're doing. So John had somebody that had real knowledge and could really help him and tried to legitimize legitimize his life and his channel and tried to help him. And he used her and abused her and tried to sexually exploit her. And in certain ways he did because she was desperate for money. So she did wear some uh, low tops and a couple videos that he was supposed to pay for. Just like the videos of mine he's supposed to pay for, he never did. And then he had the audacity to go back and say, hey, you owe me. He tried to do the same thing with me. He's the same old con day in and day out. I thank you. God bless you. And uh, uh, I may very well, I may very well ask the assistance of this young lady to help me in my channel. I'm still talking things over with my family. I'm still looking uh, into things, but uh, I may very well uh, have her assist me uh, in my endeavors. I know. I respect women. I love my mother, my grandmothers, my aunts, my female cousins. I run into a lady stranger. If I got a hat on, which I usually don't, but if I do, I'll tip my hat to the lady. Uh, I'm real respectful. That's the way my mom and daddy brought me up. My daddy would have beat my ass, and I said it, beat my ass if I had been disrespectful to my mother. And I love my daddy, and I love my mother. They raised me right. And, uh, you know, if you want to contact me, you contact me at that same email, or you can contact me at uh, my church, SovereignChurchOfJesus.com, SovereignChurchOfJesus.com. I know this long video, but if you watched it, I pray, I pray you be blessed. And I pray if you give a donation, a gift, that it be blessed in a great and a mighty way. Let's help Michelle and her family. I'm long-winded, but I had to get this out there. Thank you. God bless you.